All right, we are back, and we're going to be talking about shows that were either canceled or moved due to different circumstances. And this came off of the uh, Iran threat to Saudi Arabia of an attack and where the Saudi Arabia show was going to be going. Now, obviously, they did the show without any issues, so there was not a big deal there. But let's talk about some others. Now, the Sunday Stampede was a live show that they were going to do, but the ticket sales were so bad that they decided just to outright cancel the rest of that tour. And they actually gave everybody refunds, and this happened, like, early October. October 9th is when the show was supposed to happen, but they had more than half of the seats available still, and it just did not work out on that end. And this was actually going to be in New York too. So definitely a market that they should have like sold out on and slam dunked on it, but they, they just did not And this was before like a super change. Now this one was due to a weather situation, which was the last tsunami for new Japan, or I'm sorry. Um, it was a typhoon, the typhoon on September 18th, New Japan's burn, um, burning spirit was canceled because the situation where the stadium was going to, or where the show was going to happen, was de definitely underwater in turmoil. We're not going to have our wrestlers go out there and do that. Gave refunds to everybody, but they did finish the tour. It was just one of those circumstances. And speaking of weather, let's talk about the January 28th, 2015 Raw where they were caught in that big snowstorm that happened right at that time. And they just did the vignette with everybody in doing the uh, build-up for that year's WrestleMania because that was still going on. I want to talk about this because Brock Lesnar actually purchased, uh, did all the bar tab, and kept the bar open for the wrestlers of the hotel that they were staying at. So good for Lesnar on doing that, given their situation. I mean, they were stuck. You couldn't leave your place at all. It was like a mini uh, quarantine or a mini lockdown for them. Now uh, we got to talk about it. So it was sort of canceled, but not really. This was the June 25th, 2007 Corpus Christi, Texas show that where everybody got a refund because of the Chris Benoit double murder suicide. And at the time that they did this show, they did not know the full details on what happened. They went into it saying that Chris, Nancy, and Daniel were dead. That was the only information that they had at that time. Mm -hmm. They showed a bunch of tribute stuff for Chris Benoit Vince McMahon was, you know, there despite him literally blowing up and dying a couple of weeks before this show. This was supposed to be the Raw that Vince McMahon's celebration of life was supposed yes. to be. Yes. That's yep. why they had a three-hour Raw that night. Yep. So they did, they kept it, but it was not a regular show. It was just a tribute show. Right. The ECW, the day after... Because they already did this show and things were coming out as the show was going on. And Mr. McMahon went over camera and saying, other than right now, we're not going to be talking about Chris basically ever again. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much the last time that they mentioned Chris Benoit in any capacity. And they did the tribute show for all the victims other than Chris, who was a perpetrator, to, in a tribute to them. So mm -hmm. Nancy and Daniel specifically. A show that should have been canceled but didn't was the WWF Over the Edge 1999 show where Owen Hart fell from the rafters 78 feet, hitting his head on the turnbuckle and dying. And this was a pay-per-view. And it's almost a double-edged sword when it comes to the Over the Edge. Should they have canceled the rest of the show? I'm kind of on the fence. It was live. What could you do? You already have this stuff ready. Do you just say, you're going home after this? Nobody in the arena knew that he died. Mm -hmm. Nobody. So from that point, they're like, oh, we just had the accident. People on TV knew that he died, but not the live crowd. 
I think they did it for the live crowd. And, well, what do you think? Do you think they should have canceled Over the Edge? They, they should have stopped the feed. You think so? Yeah. And just have the rest of the show for the people in the arena. Exactly. That's not a bad idea. I didn't even think about that. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why I didn't because <laughs> it was it was such a hard place to do this. Right. I mean, the, all the other stuff was outside circumstances. This happened IRL, mm. like in the ring that it happened. So it, it was controversial. Yeah, it was hella controversial mm. to keep the show going. Maybe cut the feed. That probably would have actually worked and just give the people who bought the pay-per-view the refund. Right. Have and the then, rest of the show with the fans in the arena. Right. That would probably be the best solution on that end. <laughs> this is not a fan made graphic. This was the actual graphic of this Raw. Yep. Who could forget that one? Oh, yeah. So this is what was going on. The Denver Nuggets went to the playoffs and they were in one of the, they were one of the final four for this time. And Stan Kroenke, who is you no know, more closer to Peanut Gallery, was not only the owner of the team, but he owned the Pepsi Center. Raw already had a scheduled show in the Pepsi Center at that time. But Kroenke actually booted Raw out to make room for the basketball game. Ironically... Raw went to the Staples Center, which was actually one of the other Final Four participants, but the stadium was open. Mm -hmm. And Mr. McMahon was the most petty little child during this show. He cut a promo. They did a five-man tag where the babyface winners had the Lakers jerseys on, and then the mean, evil, (laughs) mean, evil heels were wearing... Denver, Denver Nuggets jerseys, just as a dig in there mm-hmm. on that. And you could just tell the petty, especially given this, um, it was a big stink. And I think WWE tried to sue Kroenke mm-hmm. for it. But at the end of the day, he is the owner of the stadium still mm-hmm. to this day, I believe, isn't he? I don't know. But yeah, I, I wanted to talk about that one because I just love the pettiness and the fact that this graphic exists, that Mr. McMahon is an angel, and I, it just made me happy. I wanted to talk about this one because we were going to go to it, yep. and we were so fucking petty. <laughs> yeah, this was one of many events that were canceled at the last minute because of the COVID restrictions. Yes, so this was right before COVID-19 shut everything down. I think no, this was right. This is after Every this was after this this no, was the show the show was gonna go on after but lockdowns canceled it. Yes. yes. So so you said the show was gonna go it was gonna oh, it was gonna go before. before. No, wait. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh the eighteenth anniversary and then there was a Ring of Honor past versus present show that we were going mm-hmm. to be going to. It was gonna be a double feature. And was there a show that we went to in Samstown the day before no. these shows, or was it like no? The that week was like before? a month before. Oh, okay. Because I remember us being out when they actually locked everything down. It's like, oh, this is fucking awesome. So yeah, I wanted to talk about this one, and this just started that whole year long thing where nothing was happening. Right. It was really the last big show for Ring of Honor for a long time because they had all this momentum. They were doing this was well. not this show didn't happen. not before. I'm sorry, no. Ring of Honor was doing really, really well just in general, running the pay-per-view, selling out places before the lockdowns happened. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that was what I was trying to say, but my brain scrambled it because reasons. But I just like talking about this one because I'm still very butthurt about it. You got your refund. I, well, you're the one who paid for the tickets. Oh, you're, the, you're the one who got the refund. <laughs> but, you know, it was just one of those things. Mm-hmm. But that's just kind of where it is. Um. The, the, I think there were probably people that want me to talk about the WrestleMania where they went from one arena to a smaller venue because of death threats. But it wasn't really true. Mm. Uh, the Sergeant Slaughter one. Oh, yeah. Uh, because of his Iraqi sympathizer gimmick. Right. Obviously, I don't believe that was true. I think they said that for... The rivalry, and right. then also it gives an excuse because that WrestleMania was not selling well yeah. at all. So, so, I don't know. But anyways, I don't have anything else to add. All right, awesome. So, when we come back, we're going to be talking about Crown Jewel. Okie dokie. And making that majestic again. <laughs> 